Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Stay with me and I'll show you how to make these homemade cabbage rolls. This does require a little bit of prep time and a few ingredients that need to be chopped or sliced. Start by slicing the bottom off of the cabbage. Then take the cabbage and slice another piece off of the bottom about an inch into the head. This makes it easier to peel the leaves off. Then chop and slice two or three cloves of fresh garlic, depending on how much garlic you like. Then finally chop some cooking onions. And you'll need about three quarters of a cup of those. And finally chop some fresh parsley. Meanwhile, put one and a half pounds of ground beef into a mixing bowl. And then break up the ground beef into smaller pieces. Add one cup of minute rice. And then add one large egg. and three quarters of a cup of chopped onions. Now I'm adding three cloves of garlic that's been finely chopped. And mix this in really well with your large spoon. Then I add about three teaspoons of finely chopped parsley. I'm using Italian parsley today. And then two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And then add a quarter of a teaspoon of dill weed. Then I give it a good sprinkle of some pepper and I do the same thing with some salt and give that a really good stir. Now add about a half a cup of pasta sauce directly to the meat mixture and stir that in really well. Now on to making the sauce that we're going to be putting around the cabbage rolls. Measure out about 14 ounces of diced or crushed tomatoes. And now we'll need about another one and a half cups of the pasta sauce. And pour the crushed or diced tomatoes and the pasta sauce into a medium bowl. Take a large spoon and mix this together. Dump some of this sauce into a 9 by 13 inch pan. And it's just enough to coat the bottom of the pan a little bit. And take your spoon and spread that around until it's evenly coated. And then back to our pot on the stove. We need to have a large pot with some water, have it boiling really well. And then you take a whole head of cabbage and place it in the boiling water. It does not need to be totally submersed. If you have a pot that actually is large enough to do that, then that's fine. Otherwise you turn the cabbage over once in a while. And you just need to remove it from the hot water and peel the leaves back off of it. After every two or three minutes in the water, you'll have some leaves that will loosen up a little bit and you can peel them off easily like this. But then place the head back in the water until it uh, softens again and you will be able to peel a few more leaves off each time. And it's a good idea to put the leaves back in the boiling water and boil them for about three or four minutes and then remove them when they're soft and pliable and then remove any thick stem that is in the middle of the cabbage leaf. You just cut a V in each leaf like this and then remove that thick stem. Just take a handful of the meat mixture, about a third of a cup, and place it on each leaf and roll it up like this. Finish by tucking the leaves underneath each cabbage roll. And you'll repeat this process until you have it all used up. And you'll be placing each of the cabbage rolls into the baking dish that already has some sauce in the bottom of it. And just take the rest of the sauce and pour it over the top, making sure that all the cabbage rolls have some on it. I usually take a spoon and just spread it out to make sure of that. This next step is optional. It's up to you if you want to do this. I glaze it with a little bit of red wine vinegar, some butter, and some brown sugar. So place about two tablespoons of butter in a pan and two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And I just use the same pot that I had the cabbage in and I melt that until it's well melted and mixed together, pour it into a small little dish and I just pour it over the top and glaze it like this. And I'll use a spoon sometimes just to spread a little bit more evenly as well. It just adds a little bit of zap to the cabbage rolls, that's all. Then cover your pan with some tin foil and place your cabbage rolls in a preheated 375 degree oven. Place them on the middle rack and set your timer for about 90 minutes. Then remove the tin foil and place it back in the oven uncovered for another 15 minutes to half an hour. 
This just helps to brown it a little bit better and thicken the sauce. And to make sure that your cabbage is cooked through properly. So here they are. What do you think? Would you like some? So we'll just plate that up with a little bit of parsley on the side, sprinkle it with a little chives on top, and hey, you're ready to dig in. So let's take a sharp little knife and cut this open and see what it looks like inside. Yummy! If you like cabbage rolls, this is for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.